you realize that the effect of mammon, the effect of gain has saturated. It is what controls our being. It's what controls our life. We look at life in terms of gain. Mfuninamuwa. And as long as we are under that influence, we cannot live an effective life. And we cannot effectively minister and serve God. As long as gain is what motivates you, as long as gain is what drives you, you can never be effective in life. Never. But I can speak with this surety out of insight that over 99.9% .9 of the 8 billion people on earth are under this influence. The entire planet is saturated with this energy, with this influence of mammon. That for you to be effective, there has to be an insight, an understanding that will put Put you operate above this influence. Are we together, children of God? We've gotten to operate above this influence, without which effectiveness is impossible. It is impossible. So, man is conditioned and programmed to look at life. In terms of gain. From school. To church. To the business world. To the sports and entertainment world. People are looking at gain. And what does this produce now? Because we are gain motivated. We are gain driven. The result will be competition and comparison. And that's what the entire human race is in. We are competing to be the best. To be on top. To be above everyone. Everyone else has to be under you. It is you that is supposed to be up. But where, the, where is the root of this competition? What is the root of this com comparison? Where is the root of this jealousy and envy? The force behind this is called mammon. Gain, materialism, wealth is the hidden power, is the hidden energy behind competition, behind comparison. And as long as you are under that influence, you can never be effective in ministry. You can never be effective in life. How can you go on your knees and pray for another pastor genuinely, genuinely, if gain is what controls you? Comparison and competition. It cannot happen. So, we were pray we've been praying all through the week and the Spirit of the Lord was teaching me this and like, if the church is going to be effective, the church has gotten to operate above the influence of mammon. Mammon is what fuels, is what motivates people to live. And in this motivation, they are energized to compete and compare themselves with others. And because of that, you don't want to see another person rise. You don't want to see another person do better. Somebody say amen. So with that kind of influence, you can't be effective. Forget about it. That you can go on your knees and say for the next three days, I've heard that such and such a ministry is going through such and such a thing and you go on your knees and you if genuinely 
cry out to God from the depth of your being. It will instead be your joy. Because you're like, if they come down, maybe it's my chance to rise. That's what you'll think. Gain. Which produces competition with everyone around you. Praise the name of the Lord, child of God. If we can master mammon and put him under our grip and put mammon under our feet, we are going to be so effective in executing the purposes of God on the face of the earth. Without which, it will be battles within the body of Christ. It will be battles that will be in our midst. One of the things that Mammon does, or the gain syndrome does, it pollutes your motives. It pollutes your motives. Anything that is not done in love will never be rewarded in the presence of God. Anything and everything. So because we want to be above everyone else, hate will dominate us. The reason why we do what we do will be diluted, will be polluted. You are not driven by an urgency within you to tackle the human emergencies of, of uh, sin and wickedness, the destruction and destruction of the human race. What drives you is competitiveness. Not that there's an urgency on the inside of you to tackle the emergence of the human issues. We go on radio not because there's an urgency to tackle the emergence of man. We go on television not because there is an urgency. Not because there is a drive on the inside of us that is generated by the love of God to do that. But it's because we want to out to do another ministry. We want to overshadow another ministry. But behind the curtain, the force that is sponsoring that is called mammon. Gain. You look at life in terms of gain. You look at life in terms of gain. Are we supposed to be demotivated in life? No. As a matter of fact, if you are demotivated, then it means you will not do anything. You will not build anything in life. You will not accomplish anything in life. But what motivates the world is not what is supposed to motivate you. Amen. If the world is motivated by comparison and competition, wanting to be above everyone, wanting to be the best and everyone else is a mediocre, everyone else is average. If the world is motivated by that and the world does big things, achieves a lot and it is driven by that, you as a child of God, you are not supposed to be motivated by the same. For you as a child of God, passion and zeal for the work of God, for the purposes of God, is what should motivate you. Amen. All that you want to see is to see the work of God accomplished. Is you want to see the purposes of God accomplished. You want to see humanity impacted. 
You want to add on humanity. You want to be an addition to humanity. You want to see an improvement, an advancement in the church, in the body of Christ. But the world is motivated by competition. Wanting to be above everyone. Wanting to be the greatest. And everyone else is small. Everyone else is tiny. Praise the name of the Lord. Competent men that are above the influence of gain. That are above the influence of mammon. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say amen. amen. Number three or number whatever. Hallelujah. So you come to realize that what pushes us, what motivates us, is wrong. The energy that pushes us is the wrong energy. And the results can never be good results. Can never. It can never. Hallelujah, child of God. Mammon or the love of money or the gain syndrome will affect and push you towards the extremes of the pleasure mode. Mammon will push you towards the extremes of the pleasure mode. You will begin to seek satisfaction, satisfying the kernel using worldly mediums. But all because there is an influence. There is an influence of mammon over your life. And it will push you to li begin living in the pleasure mode. You will begin to live in the pleasure mode. And with, in the pleasure mode, you will have misplacement of priorities. You'll misplace your priorities. You'll begin to engage certain things that you are not supposed to engage. You'll engage dreams that you are not supposed to engage. You'll begin engaging goals that you are not supposed to be engaging. Why? Because you want to build up. You'll do certain things just for the sake of The kings of Israel, in fact, let me say, all the kings of Israel were affected by the gain syndrome, except King David. All of them reached a point where they began now pursuing, when they rose and were up there, they now began pursuing personal ambition. And it was no longer pursuing the purposes of God. They began pursuing personal ambition. But why? Because you want to be above. You want everyone else to be under you. You want everyone else to appear small. And you want to appear bigger. So before you know it, you begin to do certain things that you are not even supposed to be doing. But in the name of Rising up. You'll engage certain projects that you are not supposed to be engaging. Why? You want to appear more important than everyone else. You want to appear greater than everyone else. So you do projects, you engage projects that you are not supposed to be engaging in. And that's King Solomon. 
he began engaging certain things that he was not even supposed to be engaging. He began investing in projects he wasn't supposed to be investing in. But why? He wanted now, to, he was now pursuing ambition. He reached a point where he was looking at life also in terms of gain. But thank God at a certain point, he ended up and concluded, I tried everything, but I saw that everything is vanity. But he also went on that lane where he wanted now to achieve and do everything possible to make sure that he overshadows everyone. Wanted to overshadow everyone. Praise the name of the Lord, child of God. So until we master this mammon, God called mammon, we can't be above pleasure. We shall be under the influence of pleasure. You'll also be want to live a life according to what the standard has. The trend will drive you. The trend will control you. What is trending, what is in vogue will control you. Are we together children of God? And that's the burden that the body of Christ is suffering, that God's people are suffering. But it's not only us in the church, but the human race is suffering that. The influence of mammon, where we wrap up life into one word, gain. We wrap up life into one word, gain. And everyone is running this race to make sure that they beat everyone else. And registration in this race is free. It's a marathon. And registration is free. And everyone is registering to run this marathon. To make sure that in this marathon, you beat everyone else. You are the one at the front. You are the one above everyone. It is you in front. Registration, in the marathon is free. So you can excuse yourself and you're like, even if everyone is engaged in this marathon, is running this race, I will not run it. Amen. I will not. Are we together, children, children of God? Amen. I will not run this race. Who is the most anointed man of God in the city? Most anointed woman of God in the city? Who is doing the greatest works? That's what is driving us. But the influence behind that is a force called mammon. It is what sponsors that competition. It's what sponsors that comparison. That's why Jesus said you cannot serve two masters. I take you can't serve God and you cannot serve mammon at the same time. If you can master mammon, if you can master gain, I want to tell you everything that you'll do, you'll do it from a pure conscience. You'll do it from a pure heart. And that's how effectiveness is generated. Purity of motive. Purity of motive. But mammon contaminates your heart. You look at everyone as a competitor. Everyone around you is a competitor. So your motives will be contaminated. You want it or not. It will be contaminated. So all of us on the face of the earth, we look at each other as competitors. We look at each other as competitors. You don't want anyone else to do better than you. And it's the same thing in families, in clans, that people can be of the same clan. 
I don't know how special a clan is, but I see this even in my clan. Families, different families that make up that clan. Battles, people are fighting. People are bewitching each other. People don't greet each other. People don't meet, but they are from the same clan. But why? Because Olujarwa Gundi, Lusing Olujarwa Gundi, Chikech. Such and such a family is better than such, such and such a family. But you're people of the same clan. But there is a competition and a fighting that people are even bewitching each other, killing each other. People can't even talk. People can't share a room or a seat. But they are family. But it's because there is a force that is influencing them unknowingly. And that force is mammon that look, tells them everything is supposed to be about gain. And no one is supposed to gain more than you. No one is supposed to have more than you. No one is supposed to be above you. You are, you are supposed to be above everyone. Every other person is supposed to be under you. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. With such a corrupted mind, we can't be effective in life. We can't. The rising of one person will cause heartache to you. The excellency of one person will cause your mind to ache. Will cause your heart to ache. If you are a sister, let me just give an example. You're 35 years and there are some young girls in church, 23, 22, and they are getting married. For you, you are 35. Not even a man has come and said, please. And now the wedding is, preparations are going on. But things are a little bit stuck somewhere. Can you go on your knees and cry out to God? Genuinely. Yet, young ones are getting married. Can you go on your knees and cry to God? Genuinely, God, provide. I pray for sister's soul. Let there be a way. Make her way there seems to be no way. Release resources for that wedding. Every force that is standing in her way, I destroy you. The wedding is stuck. 22 years. Can you genuinely seek God for on their behalf to make sure that this wedding is done? Or you'll be like, I can't be alone. I can't suffer fate alone. Let, the, let them also fail. But where, where does such an attitude come from? Looking at life in terms of gain. The gain syndrome. If you are a mother and your child has failed to register for P7, you don't have money for registration. But your neighbor or the cousin has paid all the registration necessary. Then one week to the exams, the child that has registered, your cousin, or oh, the neighbor's child suffers heavy headache and the head is like wants to burst and they send the kid home one week to the exams yours is already home you failed to register can you pray genuinely from your heart or you'll be like not only my son can fail I wish at least no one in Atula you, you, you are under the influence of gain. If mine has failed, then how do I gain by sponsoring another to make it? Let's all fail. 
let's all fail. But if you are above this influence, I tell you, if you are empowered to pray, if you are empowered to seek God, you will seek God genuinely from the depth of your heart. Even if your child is home and is not going to sit for ex final exams. You will pray for this kid that has registered, but is back home because of a sickness or a disease. Yet, they are remaining with just days. You will seek God genuinely. You will cry out to God like you are crying for your own child. Whatever has attacked him or her. Every hand that is behind this, let it fail. Let this child succeed. Let this child make it. You will seek God from the depth of your heart. Your, why? Your motives are pure. They are not contaminated. Your motives are not contaminated. There are moments I've prayed. Sometimes for three hours. And I've not prayed for my personal. Personal issues. I've not even prayed for the church that I'm ministering to. But you're praying for God's servants. You're, the, the ones you know names. You mention their names. And some of these are just neighbors. Churches are just few meters away from me. And uh, I will never forget this particular day. I'd spent the night praying for a certain man of God because he was going through something. He was so, so, so close to us. Very close. So I spent the night praying for him because he had shared with me his challenge. And he was intending to close the church. If things don't work out, he was intending to close the church. So I went through the night praying. Then in the morning, I'm like, I think let me go and visit a certain friend. So I go and visit a certain friend. And I meet this pastor also there. The one I prayed for in the night. I meet him there. And in, the, in, in that place, he had gone to, one of the things he had gone to do is to conclude on the issue of closing the church. And we bumped into each other. And I had a word, I was able to speak in his life. I had the authority. Why? Because I prayed for him. I had the wisdom. Why? I prayed for him. My tongue was empowered to give him counsel, to speak encouragement. Why? I prayed for him. And he rose up and stood on ground again. But if you are competitive in nature, Trust me, whatever will spring out of you will not be pure. And it will not impact. It will not impact. It will not. You'll be celebrating the fall, the failure of other people. And I've always said that if someone's failure is what makes you happy, then you are a failure indeed. If somebody's failure makes you happy, you are a failure indeed. But do you know that people can come to you? And mom, we thank God for, because you can sense this energy, you can sense it. Somebody can come and is like, we are together in this. We are praying. I don't know where we are praying from. I don't know where and this happens to me severally. Hmm? Yes. Hey. Hmm? I, you meet friends and you're talking. Fellow ministers, you are talking, but deep inside you're like, you know. They're like, I wish he can fail at this stage. But on the outward 
you see smiles, laughing. But there is a God called mammon, money, wealth, materialism that is behind the competition in life. Where you look at life in terms of gain. How do I gain in this situation? And if gaining, it is me who is supposed to gain a lion's share. Everyone else has to have peanuts. Everyone else has to have peanuts. Everyone else has to be small and tiny. I have to be the giant. I have to be the giant. I have to be on top. The influence of mammon, if you master it, you will be effective in life. I assure you. You will be effective in life. Do you know that we assess people based on their, mater their material outlook or their material capacity? That's the artistic that man, the average person uses. I don't like, I think, if I say I don't like, I'm, I'm being too nice. But it disgusts me. When I meet someone, maybe for example, and we've taken long, and uh, this person now, eh, Oriotia, Jevale, Golu, Gobuze, Nanga, Harikupima, Atunlenga to Joyamba, De, Atunla, Musipi Go, Atunla Sawa, Joyamba, De, Akupima, Alabea. Ozito wa chenka na umuise kwa ochali wansi. Of course, naturally, eyes, you can take your seat. Eyes are supposed to, are supposed to see. You understand? But I can naturally see your shoe because naturally, and I even say, oh, wow, your shoe is nice. And it was just a, a, an innocent look. Your, your, your sweater is nice. It was just an innocent look because my eyes just saw it naturally, innocently. But there's someone being deliberate and somebody is assessing you, measuring you up. It's arrogance, pride. It's comparison. And with such an interpretation of the worth of people. If you interpret people in terms of the ma their material weight, you are bound to make many mistakes in life. If you're a young lady, for example, you are a young lady, you are a young lady, you are a young Perfume. Akawo waka mvamu. Ogambe yono. Otomere. Mukama ibazubi. If we operate above gain, we shall look at people, we shall interpret life differently. 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 Are we together God's children? Because all your colleagues, all your OGs and OBs, now for the ladies, they are married to men that are driving. So you also now make sure that your standard is he has to be having a car. To make sure that I also stand out among my, my friends. Flavia, 
ezo sizimwe nazimanya <laughs> kati nze mfumbirwe brother dodoviko akili za katonda atambuza bigere children of god if you are going to be effective in life you've gotten to operate above the game syndrome you've got to operate above mammon you will see life differently you will see life differently you will make clean choices and decisions in life you will make clean choices and decisions somebody say hallelujah somebody say amen The pleasure mode in its extremes, if it's untamed, which pleasure mode originates from the influence of mammon? If it is untamed to its extremes, it's meant it can drive you into an immoral life. It will drive you into an immoral life because on the inside of you is a pleasure a, a longing for pleasure it will drive you into sexual immorality so there is a relationship between pleasure untamed pleasure and an immoral lifestyle look at all the loose girls you will see that they are pleasure driven all the sexually loose ladies, you realize that one of the things that define them is that they are pleasure driven. The appetite for pleasure, they can't control it. They can't manage it. But it springs from the influence of mammon. It springs from the influence of mammon. Are we together God's children? So control mammon. Control the influence of materialism and you'll control pleasures of life. And you live effectively. You live effectively. So if you are on the lane of untamed pleasure, you are definitely driving to the direction of sexual immorality. Because before you know it, you'll also want to get the attention, the satisfaction that comes from the attention of the opposite sex. Because you are pleasure-oriented, you are pleasure-driven. You'll want that attention, you'll want that, that validation that comes from people of the opposite sex. But the force behind this is the force of mammon. The force of material wealth, material gain. It's the very root. So, Exodus 18, 20, 21 is teaching us that if a person is going to be competent in serving God, that person must be above the influence of mammon. That person must tame mammon. That person must control mammon. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. As I plan to wrap up, One of the ways to control this influence, to operate above this influence, a syndrome, of course, is like an infection. 
chiwa chirwadi so most of the time for us we are looking at these infections that can be medically proven because if you go into the medical field and you tell them that is there anything called the gain syndrome it's not there because this is a spiritual thing this is a spiritual infection there's nothing like a gain syndrome in the medical field they can't diagnose it they can't but spiritually by discernment and studying the times that you're in you can literally see that is there's an infection that is eating up the human race but the best medical brain cannot diagnose that because it's not a physical disease it's not a physical disease nayenga abantu balwadde kino chirwadde chenyini people are sick people are sick so how do you guard against this how do you prevent this revelation or insight knowledge understanding wisdom that comes only and only from the presence of god is one of the things that will enable us prevent the infection of the gain syndrome infection the gain syndrome disease if you master something okay let me give an example have you seen a trailer can be like from here to where apostle gesa is but a small somali man very tiny will control that trailer and drive that huge thing why he has mastered it he knows its strength its weaknesses he knows its gear system small man small person driving that whole huge thing all the way from mombasa up to congo very small but because they know it they understand how it works so because of that they are able to master it a small person can master it can control it so if we gain knowledge understanding of wealth money we understand its weaknesses its strength you'll be able to manage it anything that you get knowledge about understand you will control it anything that you have insight about you will control it it will be under you you will be above its influence it will not control you it's you that will control it praise the name of the lord no wonder the bible tells us guard your heart with diligence for out of it are the issues of life the guarding has to be a diligent one so if this is a syndrome then the vaccine is knowledge understanding the wisdom of god that will enable you dissect issues and look at issues and be able to manage them and control them we had the polio vaccine once I still have my scar and I will never have another polio vaccine. But now for this issue the vaccine is taken consistently. You tarry in the presence of God consistently to guard your heart. To make sure that this corruption does not enter you, does not infiltrate you. You keep yourself consistently 
in the presence of God. To gather the knowledge consistently. There are things that you cannot, you can never overcome once and for all. For example, Tosola Gamba, Tinsekatinze, Nawasiza, Nafumbi Dua, Sisola Kukola Wins. Ah, ah. Em Peter, Tejaku Ziba Maso. Oya kusiga lola baba mtu abalunji. Ngoli mu taxi, oli mu bus, oli mu chivu gota mbla kustreeti. You will still see beautiful ladies. You will still see them. So the battle on immorality is not you can is not one you can say. Obwenzi zina bwa angula. Nabwa angula. Never. It's a battle you fight daily. Trusting God for the grace to enable you go through that day. Which principle do we learn from? The man are falling every day. And God told them, don't keep any for the next day. Don't. If you keep any manna for the next day, you'll find it rotten. Except on the sixth day, you gathered enough for the Sabbath. Because the Sabbath, you're not supposed to work. And on the Sabbath, it never got, gets rotten. But you are supposed to gather the manna enough for that day. Then tomorrow, the manna will come and you gather enough for that day. One of the principles we learn from that is that we are supposed to depend on God daily. Daily you look at him for strength. God's strength for this day. Wisdom for this day. I want knowledge to handle the issues, the challenges of this day. You entirely depend on him for every day of your life. That's one of the principles God wants to pass on to them. You don't reach a point where you say, it's my savings that have saved me. It's my savings that I'm able to go through this season. Because if they had saved food for the next day, they would have maybe said, had enough wisdom to keep for the following day. But they had to believe God. Every morning, lift up your eyes and look at him. Lord, we are waiting for provision for today. That day goes. Lord, we are waiting for provision for today. That day goes. Every day, you look at him. So, the grace of God, you need the grace of God every day to go through life. Every day. So, the vaccination against this influence that has saturated the planet, we are born into it, we walk into, into it, we live into it, but you can guard yourself and it doesn't enter you. This energy doesn't penetrate your being. It's possible. You keep your heart pure from competition. You keep your heart pure from comparison. You keep your heart pure from jealousy and envy. You keep your heart pure from the pride of life. Which is pumped and energized by mormon. You keep your heart pure every day. Every day. Chisoro kera dala. Bantu bakatonda. But it will take a daily walk with God. It will take a daily walk with God. May we get up on our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. So of God the church of Christ is praying a lot 
But you realize that most of the prayers that we are making, we are just fulfilling a routine. Nenga, the effectiveness is not there because they are not springing from a pure heart. They don't spring from a pure heart. If we are going to pray for the body of Christ, we are going to pray for God's servants, fellow servants in the kingdom. Our hearts must be pure from the corruption of mammon. Nebo no sabiro muntu. Na beranga kuita ko. Lija kwa sanyulio. Kuruachi. Ochimanyi. God has answered prayer. You will celebrate it because you, you, you carry yourself to be part of that victory. Because you know I have a hand in that victory. I have a hand in that victory. Do you know that it's possible for a person, okay, for me to act so loyal to you? Why? Because I'm at a, at a point where I'm depending on you. I'm depending on you for everything. I'm still too small. So I can act loyal. But my real loyalty will be tested. Yes. Yes. But my real loyalty will be proven when I can now stand on my own. Will I continue to submit? Will I continue to be to be loyal? Will I continue to break down before you? What come my favor you'll operate above hypocrisy. And likewise, do you know that there are, a person can hold your hand and they want you to go up but only as long as you are not going above them. That's also possible. But all that is the influence of this syndrome. We cannot be effective in life until we subdue the influence of gain, the influence of mammon, the influence of materialism. You will not be bothered. You will not be affected negatively by the greatness of others by the excellence of others by the rising of others what we say mwe ngama mukama singo nyambabu yambi singo mfulo mweleza Give me that privilege. If you can give me a privilege to serve those that you've called, to serve those that you've set apart by yourself. We are not genuine in what we are doing. We are not genuine. 
Umuntu tawele zanga jiva kumutima kuli. Alkuweleza katonda, oba weleza, muweleza wa katonda. Nga jiva kumutima. Na dala fekati, na fa, abanonya katonda, atukoze seko, na inga waluwa abatuliko mumaso. Tuagala bako zeso kutuka jetulaga. Nga madala, it's not genuine. It's a privilege to serve this minister, this woman of God, this man of God. It's an honor. That pure loyalty. We, we are using people as stepping stones. Ela wote gerera, nga amazo kutu waguru wali, kati kwa kulabanga kasasiro. Chocha alina mugaso, atu sejaya, akuli nyideko, na yambu kawaguru. Kati kwenebu wali nyama, nubwa kusamba kwa madala na ugua, taina chizibu. Mukama yibazwe. Our loyalty is also not pure. I want you to look at the loyalty of of uh, Uriah. David has messed up. And uh, he writes at the battlefront and calls for Uriah to come. Because he wants to cover up something. He wants Uriah to go and sleep with his wife such that the pregnancy is covered up. So Uriah is called and he comes. And uh, David tells him, for you have excused you, ex excused you from your duties, you go home and enjoy your, your life with your family. Let others fight. But this man, Uriah, says, no, I cannot be with my wife enjoying when the army of the Lord is fighting the battles of the Lord. I cannot. My Lord, I cannot. So Moses made, I, I mean, David made him drink. And Uriah drank. And he thought maybe Uriah would go and mess up with his wife. But he refused and slept in the corridor. Even when he was drunk, he remained loyal. But I want you to see this. I want you to see this. What Moses... Uh, why, is, why am I talking about Moses? What David did now, he wrote a letter. And in this letter, Uriah is supposed to take it to Joab. And the letter is saying, you put Uriah at the point of the battle where it is hottest and withdraw the army such so that he's left alone and let him be smitten to die. And the man carries the letter that is sentencing him to death. I want you to see this loyalty. He would have said, but what is hidden in this letter? Because this, this was a long journey. He's traveling from one nation to another nation. From Israel to another nation where they are battling. It took days when he was having this letter on the horse. But he never at one time said, what is it that the king can't tell me? Why didn't he tell me by word, so that I take the message to to Joab, and he kept the message in the letter. Let me open this letter and see. He never opened even that letter, and he took it. Look at that loyalty. Of course he died. Now that's a case for David to answer. But for him, he displayed loyalty of the highest order. The issue of his death, that's David's issue to answer. But you see purity in the heart of this man. That on the inside of him there was no but who is Joab? Why is it that the king trusts him with secrets? His motives were pure. 
he didn't have conflict within his heart. There is a ministry in Imbali, one of the biggest ministries in the city. But pastors <laughs> fight, real fighting, which you told associate pastors. Osanga, Omusumbanga, Alinga, Pastor Robert Watch, Alukume Gana. Ne Apostle Gesa. Pastors, pastors, but they're fighting for who is, so who is closest to the man of God, who is entrusted with certain secrets of the ministry. Childish battles. But where does it come from? It comes from gain. The root cause is the gain syndrome. So you end up breaking the work of God in the name of you claim you are building it but you are breaking it. Because some, some of the pastors now go and go to the senior pastor. They try to be good in the eyes of the senior pastor but polishing others so dark. So confusion ends up in the ministry. Because everyone wants to be above every other minister. Everyone has to be closest to the man of God. And tell who is it you? Ziva, mumutima, ogutanabaku, kufuga. Influence your mammon. Bo woji fuzi. Tebi jakuria. Ebi tiwa. Praises and attention. O jakupo mazobi fuga. If you control the influence of mammon, you'll be above the influence of that force. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands and we pray. Loving Father, we want to thank you for your word that you've spoken to us this morning. You've spoken to us that competence or capability is measured on the premise of the fear of God, truth in the hearts of men, and the ability to master gain, the ability to operate above gain, the ability to control mammon. Father, it is my prayer that as a generation will help us to operate above this influence in the mighty name of Jesus, that we shall not be a people that are looking for the spotlight we are not motivated by being above everyone, doing everything possible to pull everyone else down so that we rise up. Our motivation will be to see that your work is done. If it's to do anything big, it's because we are motivated to see that your kingdom is established. Not to outdo anyone else. Not to do what no one else is doing. Open our eyes. Give us understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give us insight. That we shall be able to interpret life right. We shall be able to understand the strength and weaknesses of mammon. So that we can master him. Give us the grace to tarry before your presence. That our hearts will be protected. That there will be a garrison around our hearts. That mammon will not penetrate our hearts to pollute, to, die, to defile. Our motives to defile our purpose on the face of the earth. driven by Help 
Help us, my Father. Help us, sovereign God. Cause us to live above the syndrome of gain. Cause us to live above the influence of mammon. That this energy of mammon and materialism that saturates our planet will not be able to gain entry into our lives. That we shall not run this race as a competition, but like Paul, we shall run to accomplish your agenda, not competing with anyone. We shall run to accomplish your interests on the face of the earth, not to outdo anyone. Help us that our hearts will spring with true and genuine love. That we shall not do anything out of hypocrisy. Sincerity will define us. Honesty will define us. Loyalty will define us. Truth will define us. That we shall not be transactional in nature. That we shall not use people for our gain. Genuineness will spring from on the inside of us. Help us to be effective ministers. Help us to be effective in life in general. That our service to man and to you will be uncorrupted, will be undiluted. Our service to you and to man will not be polluted in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the glory and all the honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Celebrate the Lord name of Jesus. our administration is going to change. Amen. You see, I, I've, been, I've been asking, I sometimes sit with Pastor Robert and, uh, and uh, I ask some few questions about some things. That why is it nowadays, I remember those days, Pastor Ellen can attest to that. In our days when we just got born again, that that uh, that uh, that generation whereby we used not to have uh, the microphones or the speakers. We used to, to play our drums. Amen. But uh, people will be in that place. They don't have lots of clothes. 
you can even predict on Sunday again that Jana Bruno will go in a Jana Roach together. Guy no go away when got Kumi, Nenga, Mamuma, and Patani and Goyes and Ah, Gamana and Ganja, Watakuma, and all range again up Jana Pink. What? I want to buy a good such a cat on the change out. Mukama Evers. And I want to wait to a young attended is a this is when the the, 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 the person, the praise lead, the better praise leaders, but I'm leading on our praise. Ngoria Gamba Bengalus Bengaliza Bengaliza Kabao. Because there were no machines, there were no, you know, but the presence of God was so vivid. You don't need a prophet to tell you that the glory of God is here. Why? Because people were sold to serve the Lord. Ngechigendero wacha haba antubo na chari chakwele za mkama. Haba antunga teba saba. Mwemufo kuzine sala haba antuseba saba kati. Nti mkama jage na mu Amerika. Give me this, give me that, give me that. Haba antuba saba nga antibo njimi lila. Haba antuba kulabe. Mere choku koze sebe chaka tonda. Omona na jana imi ila mumaso. A, a worship leader will stand before you. Na wanik na waga mwanik nga tali ku microphone na na imu sedo boss. Aba ne batani koko kunku mukanga ba vake mizimu. Aba kunku mukabu kunku mus. Kwanga ba ntebani na ndo zanfuni na wa. Chowala le robu wala ba setting ya buereza yona ya chuka. Bulia buli goba isa mkuereza. Aina kwa ya galo kufana na. Because me I believe. That by the time God called me, there is that uniqueness in me. I don't need to do things like Male. I need to flow my way. I don't need to do my things like Pastor Robert. Akuna. Because that my I got a different identity. And Robert has got his different identity. Pastor Ken has got his different identity. Pastor Ken has got a, dif a different identity. Why are we nowadays even trying to copy other preachers? Or trying to copy other things? Because... We want to be like them. Our, our intention is not to exalt God. You want to sing like so and so. You want to be like so and so because we are looking for where we are going to gain from. I believe there is a woman we met yesterday, Pastor Robert, that woman who was leading praise. Man, do you know Omanyinto Yomkazi Yabadeko Musinde? Pamurido Musinde Gwavude Mukazoyo. Nenga bo mula baria ukwara kwara. Nenga li kumusi presence ya muka eli mauri mungu akubie. Muka muka zoya imbiat. Nengo la bo ena na gambe Robert njia. Na muka zoya njia kugera na muzi ya mumpe muko mukrusedi zizino zizino thirty first zetu kubo muka zoya kute muchi intu. Msimchala msumba na ngamba ntu muka zoya sebo mbwa kuba overnight wogu. Akube ten don na sinza wogu. Mukama favors. Does as the end of the gamba, so got no new waka waka. No butuki the vuzatu guam. Then a gugamba katunda again at two a motoka. A jatua mayumba. Again at two our cousins. Two and a quanti. Savas in about valuable tension. About two and a kuasa. Hosala bana bakutulu ribat. Come up favors. Hey, hey, hey. Over the wali. Kati yesu a kugamba and quad double fumbe motokazo. Church it dako. Mukama favors. Chiche chidako. But to nabe dane endo wazo kuwele za katonda. Yatu womu kisa. Chetugendo kujamu katonda. Nomule embe guli chijuri lako. Ani wano. How many of you that want to live a useless legacy? Ove musinga tedi ya kujukira. But you know, sala o kuwele za katona, banyawa neba sebo. Tikatona neba liwa kuyise. Emine mbe jiri dako jiri gamba walu wamu sajia. Yali kechire. Neroba idahosa wafa danea bantu woke da Catherine Kuhnman ngali wo. Ne idahosa ngali wo kuruwa chava. Sikazi vano bali na chivale kawo. Bali na katonda guwe vale kawo. Zanzikiri zoba katonda ina guwa yugela nafu. Guwa yugela nafu. Chavula naku zino. O inge na mukanisa, nga kanisa replaying. Kubanga na wa sababa ina bebanonya. 
kativa kuchitu tinti na weleza ina biach aina arimu kuno ni ana funi na muwa na bazo kusaba teba cha saba chovula anti amkuwa no gua gua wantu eri katonda tegu chali wakubanga yadja mukani sanga no ni abufumbo bwa bula na bivam yadja mukani sanga no ni abufuna bwa tafuna na bivam mukama ebas so embereza ya fumkuweza katonda chuke katonda biyona bi sabola baba gamba zabu ne feza abirina embereza ya fe chuke tu tu na tuweza katonda jatu abitu agal basa keni nina nina ebi ntu walwe chini tu chendi ringa na chao ku TikTok walwe mwenzi mukama yari amkoze samuma namu gamba papa mwenzo nonga wa mani nga ali in the days of the humble beginning na inga bomura bisama sago moyo omanya nti omwana ono bwana atambulira mu patanene mu myaka nga 10 maso amawanga gagenda kuvuna mira katonda basi tuleme kuno gante omwana yali kechisa nga tandi ko buweleza mukama amukozesa etandika na abantu nga bisatu agenda kulanga abantu baweddem asigaza abantu abiti Nenga ngamba anti prophetess kati ngabwe na jemba ali ne mpereza bwenzi nanga anti prophetess ngabwe ndike chintu nti bwena genda nge wabalala ne mpereza bwensi ange kanisa yange limwa abantu 10 beyongera kama ntemba wera 5 oba 10 kulengeri katonda jali akola chi jali yanko samnenga bwenzi le wange mtebikola chi tebikwata tebi addinga up nanga anti mukama ya muwa mukisogwa bugagga vumka mtu ali mu miaka ndoza Obali semanyi ngamto na ngamanti boya yingi na ngokuweleza every time you go to minister to other churches that the offering people will give by the time pastor can uh, uh, the host by the time I I host I host you to preach at I am and I give you a love offering of 10 million I mean 10 uh, 10 million Nigerian Nigerian money that means the money people have brought is a lot so he said he got at the level that even the commissioner, the commissioner, I don't know which, which department in their country, after he saw him in Lagos Minister, because he lives in Port Harcourt, after he saw him in the Lagos Minister, the commissioner had to go to, 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 to Port Harcourt with convoy. Listen, when the commissioner got to his church, the commissioner found there were 20 people. And they, what did you, do you know what the commissioner said? The commissioner told him, you are, an, you are an embarrassment to me and the kingdom of God. With the way you are ministering there and the way God was moving, I thought I'm coming to a million and, and thousands of people. Is this what you're calling ministry? And the a commissioner told her, him, I am not coming back. And the guy told, told me, prophetess, the thing pained me so very much. And he said, now the news went all over. People that we are struggling in the ministry will tell, uh, will tell each other, ah, you call him. When he comes there, your ministry will change. So, I'm going to go and I'm recommending a call. I'm going to go and 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 I'm going that the kind of money people brought because he had the anointing of wealth and God moved. So he was taught, so touched. And uh, while the man of God was seeing him off, they met in the office. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, how do you pray? I'm going to say, as a young preacher, Maybe go to many kusaba. See what you did. Goriam Gamba. Ah, have my prophetess. Ali must stay wait in Nigeria. Nenda kutwa la ya kolechi. Akusabi de koko wanga nzi. Bina bina bila mafuta ngaja wani. What prophetess you wange? Yali ya dayenkeira. Ah, nakuiram kazwe. Yali ya kawasa ino mwa no mu no mchala. Nagam kazwe ntani. Tiamga anti wage na prophetess. Nga tui na jingi msumba ina janyonge deyo kuweleza. And uh, they, they went with the man of God. Bwe batu uka. 
na sinka na prophetess kazi mulunji nenga entebeza prophetess zo naza gold ngamba za busifek ayamba the gold entebeze gold bulichimu cha gold namganti prophetess wange yono a prophetess nam namgamba eh nange prophetess ona badambuli deko you know the way you have prayed yenga roza ya pray the way you have prayed for him and told him how to plan fast Katinanga badande sunange njagala mbere ni nange njagala mbere ne chintu ngachi nge chiche Prophet Sam Ganda jam to gene mu prayer room Amtu ala prayer room nga wali sente buli chikache box pasakeni omuvanga tabuli chikache sente zens euro wakina pound zona kabaz panze but nenga golo di aju dao no buli di Omulenza gamba yenga prophetess omukazi oli ya timba gorodi na kwata kone went nenga bana mwe muvawa kazi namganta ah i can make you compete with leading pastors in the europe oli the bigambo ya prophetess i can make you compete with the leading pastors in europe even in nigeria namgamba chenja gala che chinde se ko ya prophetess antia ah Kati yenga aloza, aganti, kenzi ze wano, chono mkazi chana nga ngenda chikola chika. Oba kuwa yo mwana majio mkazi ya chari na tuja kuzala. Oba kuta mkazi ya bakazi wa chikola chika. Jebali nja kuzao. Prophetess nga mganti, haa, ze chenja galo kukulela. Gwebe na ngo sura na angi. Bono oba ngo sura na angi nze kanga, ni mkazi watu mkuwata ko. Ogenda chida wa, olina kuloro njini nebeva ka. Agendo kudayo mkazi. Nengo mlinza gambo ya likechi sa. Nga saba. Kagena mpre mountains. Na kabida katonda. Mbu yenga abantu wa saba. Pre mountain. Buli omune yebaka. Yena asigalanga saba kakumacha. Mbamalo kwa kana prophetess. Prophetess ya kwata buku asi wali. Na asika milio ni vivili za naira. Na azimua. Na mgamba genda uchusene hall. Wali watono. Agamba kuluna kuhurure njini. Agenda chusa hall. Pastor Kenny ngu wa antu wa yika. Mwana ngamba. Na papa ya tu gamba. Ya fugama ina. Abaso kabali nkume meka. The first service. Out of 20. 10,000. From 20 to 10,000. Katolina amugamba. Ngamba no ganti ya chama. The mystery of your ministry to go up. To get deeper in the presence of God. Is to pray and fast and read the word of God. And keep yourself clean. Katolinga mga, your mystery of greatness is tuwebaki. Katinga agamba, buli week, yala ino kuwebaka noyo mkazi. Katijukira, mwere za wali potakote, alimu Lagos. Yatuke jisera, potakote ya dayo mkazi na amule kayo, nanga nzendi mo missionary. Eno ngo mkazi alawo msajja chakola. Agamba, ya kuburu kunga na mstadi ya mzezimu mu Amerika, antine TD Jacks na jia. Na mwuzi, how old are you? Na mgamba. Na mgamba, e chintu feche tukubide miaka ne miaka. Gwe ochukubi otia na mganti nsaba nganzi. Neba jek sive uonya. Manga kupa mustedi ya mwemumu Amerika. Ne muyuke. Katayimu ya tuka, profetasi oyo mkazi ya mwagala nyo. Ni baba nga bulijala ga agenda na ye. Nga checho toche. Umwaka neguita, nga mkazi ya koma kumula valuli. Ya agenda kueleza. Na hengo mkazi hati siba kutivu. Una kukanise kula. Tava kunyonyi. Bebe ntubita ambula. Sente weziri. Kati. No no. Okumanyanga gulio msambo. Agamba. Bwe mama lokweba kabuli. Bwe ya lota. Nga lota. Alino mkazi wansiche nyanja wa gulu mtu. Bali kunyanja. Nti no no ya mtu walayo. Even this guy that took him to that spirit. That woman. He began to do even better than this man. Saja na mgamba, I wish you are favored. Hold it up. You are favored. I wish that task was given. To sleep. I wish, for him he said, one thing he did not know, the intercourse he had can. Enkwa soze, batu inavana. Enkwa soze, ze yatanga mumukazi ono. Ze zako langaba member, ze wali avanji mchaji. He didn't know that the intercourse I will not go deeper. I was to put in that person. It is, it turned into spiritual children. So the people he used to see coming packed. 
Ama the, the world will see people physically and katuma mama yamba de change ken ali mugundu chitegela. Na inga spiritual ba na be abo mo yose kwa sosiate kanga mukazoli. Na gamba Nigeria na jeti kaka mtoe kama ibaz. Na jeti kati visitation zizona. Na ba ne ne ba mani ba tata abe guanga yatu kana kuboluk. Fena tu mani ba ba adebo yebwa ina makani same. Adebo yes became small boys. Katenga wedanga wogambi na wone watandika kutia. Young boy who are you? Watandika. Tone lutandika. Nengo liyo mkazi ya mgamba. Teri ya likuwa ngula. Weka stosi gananga weba kanangi. Chukanze chenja gala. Mkazi uo mkolechi. Mweso nwe. Omlenza gamba buwat. Yalino mwana omwana uo mlenzi. Kati birthday omwana yalie tuse. Mwenzi na mgamba, asa na banga gama, tia sigalu gerane mkazi wiku simu. Nenga ya gama mkazi wiku simu, ndi bize bubizu mkazi na kiliza. Kati, nenga yu gerane mtabaniwe, mtabaniwe na mgamba, na abuza mtabaniwe, na abuza, my son, what do you want as a birthday gift? I can, daddy, daddy, daddy has money, he can take you all over the world, he can take you everywhere, daddy is a rich boy, he's a big boy. Koye na mgamba, I don't want anything. All I want is to see my daddy. Kati ya gamba, tingo mzade. Echi gamba echi wa imana chia mgamba, chia mkuba. That the only gift I ever wanted, I want in this life, is to see my daddy. Kati ngo mkazi ya kawa, ngabu wa manye biyaba fumbo. Te wacha li kuchika mbuga. Kati ya nwa nai. Chichi ba, tiba nai, tiba nai nwa nai. Nze nkumi singa, koye nita, ah, tucha li muli mugu wa mkamu. Mwana bu ya musaba, eche chintu cha mkubanyo mutima na asala wo, na haba wa ticket ni wa ingida wo, mulegos. Katina ganti, nga bu mmanya wa kazi profete, so mkazi wo, mchala wangu of course, okwe wa kana ese chidi musitana. Na inga anze mmanye chintu cha ngenti, wene wa kano mkazi wala ngenda kolachi, ngenda kugua. Mkazi na musingo bu kodiyo, newe baka. Mkazi ya luwala infection. Hmm. Pastor Ken, omkazi ya luwala infection, bagenze India, they have gone to India, they have checked with the best doctors, but nothing is there. But the woman is dying. She's dropping maggots. Boyada yona amu, e wali omkazi na mgamba, that day he made love to his wife, he went back, the ministry had 20 people. And guess what? The government began to look for him that his account was used for fraud. Kat government ya mnonya, bagala mosiba. Anti ya defiling ama teka. Account ya bade ingi za sente za fraud. Ngane ya kugamba, I have never seen his account sente za fraud. But I understand to muku. Omkazi ya kunku muka, gwa uo. Nanga prophetess, mkulabi ya kutikto, kunyamba. Naga antiche uonye saurono ya batata wa nene mnaijeria. Tupate tuge nana wedi. Katisina sumurura. I've got no one to deliver minyamba. Naga nene nigeria ngeri mwaba saja wa nene. Naga anti haba singa tupate na wo. I can't mention them. Nampa yu example ya bantu haba keni yengwe zanfu de kumubiti. Naga obo na tuchika na wo. Nanga nyamba, katuba kusimu, bade bize mbintu vye mbaga. Nanga mba neba murumu, kazi na murumba, naga uyo muwana ya tuta madoyo gula. Nanga mba nzi, mbumba tawanya. Nanga mba, give me another chance, I'll double everything to you. Nanga mba uyo muwana ya tuta madabi, ya tuko zevi uka, togenda yo. Nanga nzi nkoi, natango kubanga, atanso kwa pia ringa, babe na mchutoi uyo, chitakede. Nanga mba nti, Nse nkoye. Nenge dobozi munda muli. Li mungamba bounce back to Jesus. Ewe vyo gambi enfoni na muwa. Of course, katonda atu isa, we're going to be great women of God and great men of God. But how have you gotten there? Ama nyi, for a greatness te tujifako. Moto kate tujifako. Convo te tujifako. For the, for the, ovo inaka antwe mituwa lukumi, ovo ya mkawumbi, na ewa yambu kotia. Tuagala nyo kumanyo lugero luo. 
How did you go there? Tell us the story. Because any glory without story is a stolen one. Or it is magic made. Or demon, demonic made. So, omusaji ya limu kufa. Atechi, omusambu wa guamu wa galavitia. Guma nino kala. Ni kunga gumu noni. Kati kesi, kesi, natawa, na rede, na lini nevi, na lina stresses na ngani nevi intawanya. Na ina tawana. Omulalera na jia, muna gana. Na ngamba, na kati omanyi echiri uo. I, I, I just want to tell you something, man of God. Doza you will attest to that. One way chigenda maso spiritually. And it is a demonic attack on the genuine ministries. Nte kanisa, e, 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 ziri kwa mkono guwa katonda. Zi struggling wa manga financially. And stable members. Ochitegede. Ozimba kwe biyika. Bwichia kati omule nzono. Uh, omule, omule nzono na ye muto. Kama abadamu koze sa egana. Kawa amani. Nga. <laughs> By the time Badankan Williams weba kuitida sebo. Neba kwa ichituti. Weba toba mutono. Kati yalumbi wa badja neba yole taka kukanisa ni mukama na andaganga basi mbe doko kubweleza. E kanisa neta niko kutoko muka. Kata ate yalabi kainana bantu kumikati. Hale jukila. People saw him in glory. So everyone is abusing him. Kati the colleagues came that are inside the system. I told him no. We can take you somewhere. Kati aja ku tiktok. Mukama amugamba. Genda ku tiktok. There's one person I want you to hear. Ngari mkubo ba muno nye, bagenda. Nye mga mba tea kwa tiktok. Waluwa mtu kwenja galo uri. Kale mka mga, kale just listen to her alone. Muri li zekale yuka. Bwababi ya yugela tebiga sa genya. Katize sima nje na wabida lulimu. Omule nzina komanga agenda mweni session. Omule lali South Africa. <laughs> Kama ya mbeka ni sabanahe. Omulalali South Africa omukazi yankubira omukazi nsonyuwa omukazi yakwata yankubira e fachifana ni wansi mu bitundu byechama omanyi cabbage gwe bafotode walioto walioto ze ko munyanya ndoza bobo ofumba ku kamere ka ko mwao engeri je bato gato ga mwenyanya ngo omukazi eno wansi yali ngaye atonya masira atonye mvunyu mvunyu enene bwezit Nenga mchala msomba. Kati, angamba, I am going, I am under shame. I'm a pastor's wife. Kati mbuza mukama. Pas, mukama na ngantia, ah, ebi tundu miyachi amevi ono mkazi. Mwe mutu ule chote chukume kaniso liyo mbawe jari. Niyo mkazi tama nyinti bawe ya mutu. Mut. It is the husband killing her. Ebi obe tugamba, bantu kunonya jibafuni damu. Ya kunonaba de kumbaga. Nga manjibidi eno mudotu. Kwa mtu wade ne dool. <laughs> Sister wa mgole kawasa. Ndia kumanja gala nyo kufumba. Toseka. Na wade kumukolo. Na wade na wade kufumba breakfast. <laughs> Nenye ingira mfumbi. Kato wade kumkunga tufumbi senku. Mkazi na hata andike chibosi. Tanze bao wange ya badagenda kunzita nange. Konze bao ya badagenda kukuta. <laughs> Tiaba wange ya geza mchige. Bao wange ya geza kwa kunteka yebio ebizimu ne jingana. Ne, ne mukama na angweka. Na ye. Ba mgamba ntinze basobolo kunzita. Agenda kanise agenda kukula agenda kupeda mgaga. Na inawe ya tuse na pozinga. Na ngamba omwana wange we miaka kumi na msambu na muzala muramu. Murambo, msaji ya kuwate choto. Echi kufuge kanisa na chiteka kumwana angi. Omwana apamao. Omwana alia B. Omwana tasoma aho. Ne kanisa ya kwa zechi. Eju debuete. Binabio naru wachaba ntuwa bigenda. Ama ntepaka la kunonya mukama. Ama futa gana chuu sama wanga. Te gava kuno kusafesi. Gava buziba. Okubi kuliru kuna chuu sama. Ba, ba, ba intellectual, bono imini na mune professor ganti, woo, musajia yogende chigambo. Teka kumana gava wano, gava uziva, ateba kasasuri na muendo. Bulichiti wa chite kukuba kone nkoviyacho. Every glory, every anointing has got to have its own personal scar on your body. So that is what is happening. 
So the churches, and there is a first, because when I heard that thing, I got disturbed by the way. Ono na mungu deke gulo. Katiba na abasa tuwe nkugambi. Na majia ku TikTok. Edana magambi ya siri duwede. Obongo ba katibu jude mbaga kambi malirizi. Nonyemo kama na tawana. The following day. Na tawana that night I think. Na tawana. Na mfuruma na entambula muno. Na inga na mkamu. Na entambula na mbuza. I asked questions. Mkama na ngamba. <laughs> Tekanisa ina fezi je itamu. Bweneva mu fezi eno. Chitibe choru vanyuma. Chigenda kulabi shibu. Chovola buli, buli katonda guwa makinze for end time revival. Aina chazimba ne chiika. Taina sese obu sese kata. <laughs> Ochitagera. Aina ba unstable financial boosters. Tabalina. A dependence of Katonda. Katamasa Gaburi Joe, Omuntu Wakula Bakeni, or Labikanga Lemeru, Ne Katonda Yagam and Tiegwe. What to Nuri Davantu, Zen to Nuri Lanz. To Nuri Lanze. Tantica Tusica Nenta to go to Tamaso, Bonoga Teca Kuanti, can it Just look at me. And that is what genuine ministries, genuine men of God are going through. But what in nature to Chevaitam. Nzeka nkubuli ya pasta. Bantu bali nechi nitu cheba ita mwe. Nakwe. Um, Bantu wabu bantambu za uma na tambu. Dade na tambu la uma yona. Nenye midi deheri eri. Nalinja kaka fresh air. Nenye mina nebu za mukama neba. Chichiche tuliko. Chichi genda masu. Omuvuka wa. Gwa mention ingina masu. Ama nyagaba na bantu. Ainane video jia kuata. Ngabali mwini session. Nganayi mabasajia wa katonda. Bali mwini. Nenga kati mkama, tukenda kwe sigani mwonsi mno kuleka. Nyebi nobyo na chichi, njaga la mbele nga gundi. Njaga la nange mbele na erinya. Nange njaga la mvuge ziji wagoni. Nange njaga la uh, uh, konvoyi. Kwa nga mvule nvukono ya ngamba nti. Ya tambula nga ne konvoyi onu kwe. Mabada sula ni madam. Tambula nga ne konvoyi. Nga nane private gundi. So jet. Konvoyi yo. Kambunga ingi na mochifu kapeti. Vajiteka wano pakeri. Kakato na unga, eh, sorry, nge chintu chechimu kozesa. Katiba musekele. Right now, omukaza ina infection, tusabe katonda atu yambe, omuchala awone. Is it infection, is it a vangako? Alina matu, auridomo yu wamu kama chaga ambe kanisa. Everyone should get to that place of having an intimacy with God because if you have that intimacy with, with God, there are things you, you will not do, not because it, it's okay, it's, it's right that the, the situation around you is not favoring you, but there are things you will not do because you are not after gaining, you're not after material things, you are you are after pleasing God because I know after all we've gone through and after pleasing God, I do believe so very much that there's the way he will reward you. He's going to reward us and he'll reward us in his own way. I told him, kisa kujia kuwa mela. Wala ba saa wazo na tuli kutensho. Atunagena tuke chisera buli wa muamu we akuwe buli chowali uwa sabidi. Kati ya kubuze, Jacob, what is next? Ngato chirina. Kamera favors. Ngatochirina. Katonda sigalenga ye katonda. Kubira yesu engale zama. Hallelujah. Uh, Kubira kwa pastor Ken engalo e zama. Njibabu wele duwa mkisa. Ogambe a yes, on Sasside, on quartier de Congo again, the local Rubie, Nayan quartier of Consoloco Somoka, Nyambon Panidi, the Kubanga Bonon Panidi, and Jacques Soboloco Angula, Molinia Yasomana Catondola, Amen, a college to Joachitut.